animations are a great way to enhance your user interface and your user experience of your Ionic applications. There's so many ways that we can implement animations into our apps. We could even use Ionic's own animation builder and utilities. However, today I want to show you a really simple and easy to use CSS animation library, which enables us to create really slick looking animations using class names. The CSS library is called animate.css. It comes with lots of different pre-built animation types that we can implement just with a class name. So as always, I am using a little base app that is available on the Ionic React Hub. I'll put the link in the description. If you want to check that out, you can download the code and play about with this app as well. So first of all, the installation is really easy. The documentation goes through all of that. I'll link that as well. You just npm or yarn install the library and then import the CSS file, or you can just import it via a link tag. But let me show you one of the screens on this app. So this is like a shop app. And if I click one of these products, it shows me a modal with the product information. So I'm going to add a little animation to this card that's on this modal here. And I'm going to make this uh, card slide up the way as the modal opens. So on the product modal file here, I'm going to find the row that holds this whole thing. So in here, I'm just going to add class name, class name equals, and then with the animate.css library, in order to animate a certain element, it expects to see an animate underscore underscore animated class name first of all. So we'll add that in. So two underscores and then animated. And then the next class name that you provide is going to be the type of animation that you want to display. So for that, if we go to the animate.css site here, you can see along the right hand side that you can test out all of these different types of animations. So I want it to slide. So let's find something that relates to slide. And here we go, sliding entrances. So let's make it so it slides up the way. And we want the sliding entrance, not the exit. So slide in up. So that looks like that will be good. So to use these animation classes, all we do is provide the class name of animate underscore underscore and then the one that you desire. So let's go back to our file here and add in animate underscore underscore slide in up. And before I save the file, let me just close this modal and save now. So now once I hit one of these products, the modal should open and the card should slide up the way, hopefully. So let's click on one of these cards and you can see how that card slides up and let's just see that again. This looks good, but in my opinion, I think the card is too slow. So as I said at the start, animate.css provides some good utility classes for us to either delay an animation or speed up an animation or slow down an animation as well as repeating an animation as well. So in this case, I'm going to try and use the faster animation class here. So we always start with animate underscore underscore. And then I'm just going to provide the faster class. And this will just make the animation happen twice as fast as the original speed. So now if I click on this card, you can see that you can still sort of witness that animation happening as the modal opens, but it's more in sync with the speed of the modal opening. And I think that looks absolutely great. So guys, that's pretty much it. There's other utility classes that you can use. I'll leave you to experiment with those. I'm going to leave the link to the documentation in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. This is a really easy way to add small animations into your Ionic applications without having to delve deep into all of the CSS and animation CSS behind these. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, 
hit the thumbs up here just to support this video and i'll hopefully see you in the next one thanks